Senator Sampson. Good afternoon, Madam President. I wasn't initially going to uh, make any remarks because I think my colleagues have done a very good job of laying out what is in uh, this contract and the one that we uh, voted on a few moments ago. Uh, but I thought it was worth just getting up for a moment and saying a couple brief words. Uh, certainly, I appreciate the hard work uh, of this bargaining unit and uh, the previous one, and I think we all do. Uh, we recognize that uh, uh, jobs, uh, no matter where they are, whether they're in the private sector or public sector, are, uh, are sometimes difficult, and uh, people should be rewarded for their hard work. My concern is that uh, this is just really not the time to uh, expand or increase the spending in our state government. Uh, my constituents have made it abundantly clear to me that they want one thing from me, and that is to cut spending. They want Connecticut to be a more attractive place for people to live and work, run a business, and to retire. And the only way for that to happen is for us to create an environment where that happens, and that would be a result of us reducing the burden on the taxpayers. Um, to Senator Fasano's point, which I thought was very relevant earlier, we have a finite amount of resources that we are going to expend in this uh, state budget biennium. And those resources are going to be spent in two significant areas. One is going to be on the labor force for the state of Connecticut, and much of the additional, the, the balance of the money is going to be spent on entitlements. I think that people need to take a long, hard look about where that money is truly needed and what's most important. Again, we have a finite pool of money, and we've got to choose what our priorities are. I heard the governor's speech a few minutes ago, and he laid out lots and lots of priorities, and including transportation, uh, education, and a lot of areas we're not even addressing here. If we're going to run a responsible state budget over the next two years, I think we should think twice before starting with uh, these agreements that ultimately put more burden on the taxpayers and take from other areas in our state budget. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Senator. Will your remark further?